This is a red alert from SGT Report. As you all know, on December 31, 2011, New Year's Eve, sitting President Barack Hussein Obama signed the National Defense Authorization Act and contained within it was S-1867, which allowed the president to declare the homeland a battlefield and arrest any American they deem a terrorist. Upon signing the bill, Obama said, quote, I have signed this bill despite having serious reservations with certain provisions that regulate detention, interrogation, and prosecution of suspected terrorists, adding, Quote, my administration will not authorize the indefinite military detention without trial of American citizens. Indeed, I believe that doing so would break with our most important traditions and values as a nation. End quote. As many of us know, the Constitution itself states in the second clause of Section 9 of Article 1, quote, the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless when a case of rebellion or invasion the public safety may require it. I want to make the case that there has been a rebellion. This government has rebelled against the Constitution and against the citizens of the United States. The invasion of the public safety has been made by the representatives of the people. The public safety could not be more at risk now that the NDAA containing S-1867 is law. The signing of NDAA was the crossing of the Rubicon. The government has now pushed farther than could have been imagined even 12 or 18 short months ago. This is as much as you will ever see of me on the internet. Me and my SIG P229. I have long believed that the final straw will come when this government attempts to ban guns or ammunition or declare a confiscation of precious metals. The Second Amendment clearly states, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Our founders knew this was central to our liberties. That's why it's the Second Amendment. The only thing more important is our freedom of speech. Without our right to keep and bear arms, we are slaves. And now, this report from the NRA, New Jersey Assembly Committee to Consider Ammo Ban and More. This report reads, quote, On Monday, January 30th, the New Jersey Assembly Law and Public Safety Committee is scheduled to consider Assembly Bill 588 and Assembly Bill 1013. The measure actually opens the door to a sweeping ammunition ban by an unelected public official by executive fiat. Common hunting, target, and self-defense ammunition would be subject to ban along with BBs, air gun pellets, and non-metallic ammunition like plastic airsoft pellets. If the Attorney General declares that they pose a threat to the safety and well-being of law enforcement. In a video earlier on Saturday night, which was posted to SGT Report, Alex Jones makes the point that the banning of ammunition is to the banning of guns the same as banning of gasoline is to the banning of the use of automobiles. This is an absolute red alert. Every red-blooded American patriot needs to call their representatives, needs to call New Jersey, needs to support the NRA, and needs to stand up. Because the minute this criminal government goes for the guns, there will be a revolution. And as we've long believed, this government wants a bloody confrontation with the people. We need all honorable military to stand down and stand with the people because when the revolution comes, it need not be bloody. The revolution is happening. There is an awakening. Ron Paul is the ultimate revolution. The people want peace. It's the government that wants violence. I call on everyone to call their representatives immediately because as we all know, when the government fears the people, there's liberty. But when the people fear the government, the inevitable result is tyranny. Thanks for watching, and please do whatever you can to stand for liberty. Good night.